Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. Winter weather is coming in the Ozarks, and today I'm going to show you how to check your antifreeze to make sure you're covered for winter. Most manufacturers recommend a 50-50 mixture of water and antifreeze in your cooling system, and to check and make sure that you've got protection, we're going to use one of these little tools right here, and you can get them at any auto parts store, probably your farm equipment dealer has one. And how these work, these have four little balls in them, and, and depending on how many of those balls float in the mixture in your radiator tells you how well protected you are. And This has it written on the side, the guide. If no balls float, you have no protection. And with no protection, when the fluid in your cooling system froze, it could crack the block on your tractor, and we definitely don't want that. If one ball floats, you're safe to plus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. If two balls float, you're good to zero. Three balls, you're good to negative 15. And if four balls float, you're good to negative 30. Now, I did a video where I did a bad thing. I said to check it in the overflow chamber, and that's not right. You need to check it in the radiator. So what we're going to do, uh, and you always do this with the brake locked and when the tractor is cold because the system is under pressure. If it's hot, it could blow up and scald you. So we're going to check it with a cold tractor. We're going to put a couple of rags over the radiator cap to open it up just to make sure. And we're going to get some fluid out of there. And sure enough, four of the balls float. So we're good to negative 30 degrees. It never gets that cold in the Ozark, so we've got nothing to worry about. Hey, one last thing I want to tell you. Pets love the sweet taste of antifreeze, and it's poisonous. Uh, we don't want to kill your dog or cat, so if you spilled anything when you were doing this, clean it up. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you share this with other people. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd very much appreciate it. I also have a Facebook page where I talk about tractor things and industry things, too. I go into a little bit more depth about what's going on in the tractor industry. It's called Ask Tractor Mike. Hey, thanks for watching.